with the, with the writing of subpart A, uh, do you recall if there were certain components or passages within subpart A um, that that proved very difficult to sort out or to write? Uh, we must have spent eight or more meetings dealing with minimal risk because uh, the commission had come up with the notion that you need to pay a whole lot more attention to uh, significant risk research than to minimal risk research. They felt that, yes, harm could be done in minimal risk research, but it was not likely either to be major invasions of the rights of subjects or not likely, and, and the subjects were likely to understand what they got into so that they didn't need as much protection. And uh, also uh, simply because subjects are not likely to understand all of the risks that are involved if it's very complex high-risk research uh, and might not fully uh, protect themselves unless the consent documents uh, and the consent process was very strong. So then we decided, well, how do we cut these, how do we create that kind of two layer uh, two layers of research, and I, I think we must have argued for days, if not weeks, about minimal risk, mm -hmm. and uh, and I think IRBs, with with our rather vague definition, still struggle with what is minimal risk, and uh, I think it's the nature of the beast. I don't think anyone is ever going to define it much better than we have already done, and that's not to say it's a good definition, but, uh, but I don't think anybody's been able to improve on it. Okay.